welcome back to the channel and uh, we're out in the cave and a wee bit pre-winter jeep maintenance to do today just a couple of things I'm checking um, coolant strength basically first of all for the radiator and I've not been losing coolant in the radiator since I put a new radiator cap on um, so that's been a, a good thing Engine oil consumption is not too bad, burns a little bit, but it actually sits about a centimetre down on the dipstick as you can see, without overflowing anywhere. So I tend to just leave it at that height. So I'll just quickly check this, um, check for its strength and I can strengthen it by just adding pure coolant. I usually mix it up now, two to one, in our empty old milk carton. So I always have that sitting now just for topping up and I've actually got some on the Jeep in a container as well. So yeah, that seems to be okay. And another thing I'm just going to check, which I'm going to do in another video, is if I need to put any more lano guard on the chassis, but it seems okay. So here's a wee tip for when you start a Jeep if it's sat for two or three weeks. And you can just prime that up, the pump there, and that just pushes all the air out gets the carb basically bled, you can hear it there. And then a bit of pump in the throttle, gets the petrol in right into the carb. And usually mine starts from the second go. It would take three times today though to start. And then it's just a case of letting her warm up. I don't start and drive it straight away. And especially in winter when it's getting cooler, I'll let it I don't drive until the temperature gauge comes up and it will come up to about between 140 and 150 and so yeah getting it warmed up and I thought I'd just go for a quick spin it's a beautiful day outside but really windy so you'll hear a difference in the jeep with the tarp up quite noisy but anyway off we go It's a lovely day for being out, it's not too cold and um, yeah, just love driving the Jeep. I've not done as many miles this year, I've only done about 1600 miles um, just with the cost and fuel but it's dropping down again so that's all good. But I'll be out just once a month through the winter just to give it a run, um, a decent wee run once a month when the roads are dry. I'm not bothered about road salt, if the roads are dry it's not too bad. I say the jeep treated with lano guard and it seems to take care of all that problem. So we're off down to North Berwick now, quick scoot around town. It's easy sticking to the 20 mile an hour speed limits now in towns. Just keep the jeep in second gear half throttle and then just put it along, bang on 20. Road past Tantalan with the sea views out to the Bass Rock. 
fantastic this wee search in the road. So I'll soon be back to Dunbar, but I thought I'd just uh, get down at the A1, give it a good clear out, just a quick few seconds, foot to the floor. Doesn't do any harm, um, as long as you don't do it for too long. fastest I've ever been in my jeep, it was nearly 60, it probably was 60, I think the speedo runs a mile or two slow, um, but yeah, give it a good wee run out, so uh, I'll be back with another couple of videos soon on the jeep, I've got one to do on the hand, hand crank starting it, and one on the lamb guard update, so catch you up soon, leave your comments, bye for now!